We start by washing our hands, introducing ourselves, and confirming the patient's name and date of birth. Now, we explain to the patient what we will be doing and make sure to obtain consent before continuing. During this time, we can ask important questions we might want to know. This includes asking about any personal histories with pulmonary problems or even any family history. We would also want to know if they are taking any medications such as bronchodilators, anti-inflammatory meds, antibiotics, etc. Other important questions could include history of smoking, uh, diet, living environment. We would also ask the patient if they have been experiencing any abnormal symptoms such as shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, whether it be at rest or during exercise. We would also want to ask questions about their cough if they have. Next, we observe the patient. We can start with general appearance, looking for things like posture and obesity. Then, we look for their work of breathing. Does it look labored? Do they have deep or shallow breaths? Now, we want to observe the neck, specifically the traps, scalenes, and the SCM. These muscles help elevate the sternum when you breathe. We want to check the extremities for things like cyanosis or clubbing. Have the patient hold their hands out to allow you to observe both sides. We can try to observe the patient's cough. I did this by giving her a paper towel to cough into. Is it productive? What color is the mucus if something came out? Now what we're going to do is check for vitals. This includes checking for respiratory rate and rhythm. You can check their pulse to help calculate their heart rate. Count for 30 seconds and repeat on the other side for comparison. Another thing to check for is the pulse ox. Since I do not have one, I am just using my hand for demonstration. We also want to assess blood pressure to make sure the patient is within normal limits. Keep in mind the medications that the patient might be taking and the effects it could have on the blood pressure. To palpate the trachea, we first palpate the sternal notch. Now, gently press to the left and right and you should find the trachea in the middle. Remember to inform the patient what you are doing to avoid any discomfort. To check for chest expansion, we want to palpate for the 10th rib. Keep your thumbs close to the spine and hold along the rib cage. You want to compare both sides for symmetry during inhalation and exhalation. To check for the costal angle, the patient may have to remove their shirt. With your thumbs, palpate the xiphoid process and follow the ribs down. The angle of your thumbs is what you're going to look at. For tactile fremitus, we instruct the patient to say 99 when they feel the hands on their back. This is to detect symmetry and vibrations of the chest wall. For immediate percussion, we instruct the patient to exhale and hold. We then percuss along the posterior thorax in a line medial to the scapula. Note when the dull sound stops and resonance starts. Have the patient inhale and hold. Continue percussing posteriorly and note the next point of resonance. For diaphragm excursion, we want to take our tape measure and inform the patient what we'll be doing. Look for the T5 spinous process or the third intercostal space for the upper chest measurement and the T10 spinous process and xiphoid tip for the lower chest measurement. Have the patient take a max inspiration and a max exhalation. Measure the circumference at the end of each. Now, we also tape for lung sounds both anteriorly and posteriorly. What we are trying to hear are abnormal sounds such as crackles, wheezing, strider, or pleural rub. If the patient has clothing on or a bra on, make sure to obtain consent before moving them out to the side.
One of three special tests you can do to help indicate consolidation is egophony. Instruct the patient to say the letter E when they feel the stethoscope on their back. E to A changes indicates consolidation. Here is a list of indications that a patient with COPD might present with. COPD is a chronic inflammatory lung disease that causes obstructed airflow from the lungs. This restriction can result in difficulty breathing, coughing, and wheezing. Other symptoms related to COPD are listed below.